Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is your girl Shanika Marie and we are back with another video. Y'all, happy new year. This video is all about how God surprised me on my birthday. And I truly believe this is this is gonna encourage someone else. This is my personal testimony, but how many of us know that God is in the business of surprising us, doing things that we didn't even know to ask for, or maybe um, just blowing our mind doing exceedingly abundantly more than we can ever ask or think because that's what the word says right all right so let's go ahead and get into this testimony video y'all i've been sitting with god all week because when i tell you the things that have been just happening um in this past week like i've just been seeing god completely different and i'm just so overwhelmed and just in amazement of just what he is doing is anyone else feeling the shift in the atmosphere feeling this shifting that god is doing in this season be expectant that's all i'm gonna say be expectant in this season y'all shift your posture to expect god's every day when you wake up say lord i expect to see your goodness okay I won't plan to go, to, you know, go so more, so go into that so, so fast. But you know what? We're just gonna allow the Holy Spirit to do what He do, okay? So let me just let me just start the day off, y'all. So my birthday was on Sunday, January the seventh, and so I turned thirty one years old. Praise the Lord! And y'all, when I tell you, even when I first woke up, I could tell that this birthday was going to be different. Like I woke up with so much joy. I woke up with I, I like I can't even explain it really how I felt but I remember when my when I got out of the bed and my feet hit the floor I just felt this level of joy that I haven't experienced before like this level I experienced I believe you know just the spirit I just felt the Holy Spirit was with me and y'all something I was telling my husband telling you know a few of my close friends as well like I feel like God gave me the best birthday gift because I finally feel content in him I, when, I, when I say content, I know and believe who he said that I am. And I didn't come into that realization until I started getting in the word and started believing what the Bible said about me and also about him. So he gave me this gift of contentment and knowing who I am in him and knowing who he is and understand, you know, not, not to say I, don't, I understand, but you know what I mean? Like, I just feel like, okay. I'm, I'm finally content in who you've created me to be. I'm no longer running away from my gifts. I'm no longer trying to change myself. I'm no longer, um, how do I want to say this? I no longer feel behind. And I'm not sure who, so you may be feeling this way too. Like, have you ever felt just behind in life? And if I can be completely honest, y'all, that has been a feeling that has kind of plagued me for so long. Feeling like I'm behind in life. Feeling like... Um, maybe I missed God or I missed certain opportunities. And so this has caused me to be behind. But how many of us know whatever that one thought can, um, how do I want to say it, move into like create other thoughts. And so me feeling behind in life kind of triggered down into so many other areas in my life, y'all. Just feeling like, I'm going to be honest. I'm going to say like even financially for me, I always felt behind. Like I feel like, oh, I just I'm playing catch up. Whoo! I felt like you, you just feel like you're playing catch up. But let me just encourage you right now and say you are exactly where you need to be, where God needs you to be. Let me let me just say let me start the video off the video off here. Just saying you are exactly where God needs you to be. It's time for us to combat that lie of you are behind in life. No, you are exactly where you need to be. Somebody need to say it. I'm exactly where I need to be, where God needs me to be. Okay? So, I won't plan to do that. But like I said, we're going to allow the Holy Spirit to do what they're going to do. All right? So, yeah, I just woke up feeling content and with so much joy. And I'm going to say expecting too, right? And so, the day started off, um, my husband ended up surprising me. God used my husband. And I don't even know if he even knows this. Well, yeah, he do because I told him. But um, I had asked 
my, my husband has asked me what I wanted. And so I was like, I really want my own MacBook because the computer that I have now, the MacBook that I have now is from my job. And so that's my work computer. And so I haven't been really wanting to put a lot of personal things on it. I wanted to kind of keep those things separately, but a desire of my heart was for me to have a MacBook so that I can, you know, for content purposes, for pro I'm, a, I'm a project manager and a, a, a personal assistant. And so I wanted to put that stuff on there for content for like YouTube and different things. And I'm also a writer. So I wanted something personal for me, right? And so, whew, I just get, I'm getting chill just talking about it. And then my husband ended up buying me one and he came and like set it on the counter. And so he surprised me with it and I opened the bag y'all and I just, and I'm getting teary eyed just now because I'm just so, so, so thankful. How many of us know that God he cares about the desires of our heart as well. He does. And especially he knows that I'm going to glorify him with this computer. Okay. And so, you know, when I saw the, the Mac, I just got so overwhelmed with joy and I just was crying and I gave my husband a hug and I was just like, thank you. Like, I really, really just appreciate this. Right. And so, you know, most importantly, I felt like, you know, God, like, Thank you for giving me this amazing man, you know, who does things like this too. But ultimately, I know, like, I just felt like it was an answer prayer from the Lord, right? So that started off the day, right? And then me and my husband, we uh, went to dinner at um, a fi Firebirds restaurant. And let me just give you a little backstory too. I remember when my husband asked me where I wanted to go eat for my birthday. And I don't know why Firebirds just kept coming up. Like, I didn't change my mind. I was just like, from the beginning, because you know how we can change our mind when we trying to figure out what we want to eat at but firebirds was i just was every time he asked me i was like firebirds and that's like the, that's the final answer right i want to go there so he ended up making us reservations and originally i wanted to go to the restaurant earlier but just how my day was going i was a little tired so i told him let's go later on in the evening and so he uh, made reservations for seven o'clock right so keep that in mind like i wanted the reservation to be earlier i mean i wanted to go earlier first but I ended up getting being I ended up being tired, and so my husband changed it um, to you know to, well not changed it, but he made a, um, the reservation for seven p.m. was the which was the perfect time, y'all. And soon as we you know we got to the restaurant, um, it was some 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 ladies sitting across from us, and I noticed they had balloons too. So in my mind, I'm like, oh, they're celebrating. You know, someone's celebrating their birthday as well. So we ended up being in conversation with them. And one of the ladies told me that she was turning 60. So, you know, we both said happy birthday to each other because we had the same birthday, right? And so, um, yeah, we, we, me and my husband, we're just eating. We're just talking or whatever. And then the lady comes over and gives me a piece of cake that she had on her table. She was like, happy birthday, sweetie, and gave me a piece of cake. And I was like, oh, that was so sweet, you know, for her to think of me. Like, this is her birthday. This is her cake. Like, you know, she gave me a piece of cake or whatever, right? So, and y'all, if y'all hear something in the background, like I'm recording and outside my window, it sounds like a whole lot of stuff going on, but we just going to keep going. So if you hear some noise, let's just ignore it. Right. So, um, she gave me the cake. And so, you know, I thought that was going to be it. Right. And then it's kind of like, you know, conversation just kept striking between me and my husband. And then, you know, um, at her table so we were like talking or whatever and then i'm not exactly sure how we got on the subject or how this conversation even came about but um i remember asking her she asked oh thank you holy spirit she asked me how old I was turning. I said, I'm turning 31. And then I was like, you're 60. I was like, okay, you know, you're 60 years old. Do you have any words of encouragement for me? Like any words of wisdom, right? So she was like, mm, let me think about it. So she, you know, was ended up thinking. And then she, um, she looked at me, you know, once she kind of, kind of got her thoughts and stuff together, she was like, um, words of wisdom. Um, I want you to always remember that you are important and y'all important that word important has been a, been a thing that god has been speaking to me a lot because i have struggled with not feeling important you know as a child and just other different things that the enemy used to discourage me and just we'll talk about that in another video right so even when she said the important piece 
I knew I knew she was filled with the Holy Spirit because how many of us know that there's no coincidence with God, right? And so when she said, you know, you are important and she said some other things too. And then she ended up standing up and she gave me a hug, y'all. And she started prophesying to me and decreeing and declaring things over me that I haven't may have even prayed out loud. Some things I've been kind of praying and keeping in and it, it only things that me and God know, right? Only me and God knew. And y'all, when I tell you, I was boohoo and crying in that restaurant because I felt like I just, I, first of all, I could just feel the Holy Spirit. And I just felt like, man, God, you really, really love me to surprise me like this. But no, and most importantly, you reminded me that you saw me, that you see me, that you hear my prayers that I may not even say out loud. And y'all, some of the stuff I knew was nothing but the Holy Spirit because it's some stuff that I used to pray about. To be honest, y'all, I got a little discouraged with praying because I hadn't seen, you know, anything come to pass just yet. Whew, help me, Lord. Yeah, so she was praying and prophesying over me and I just felt the Holy Spirit. So y'all, all of this happening in the middle of Firebirds, y'all. So we hugging, I'm crying, you know, we doing a little victory dance, you know, in the middle of Firebirds. But that's, you know, that's just God. When you have God on the inside of you, you bring him everywhere, right? And we should be unashamed to be who he has called us, who he has called us to be, no matter where we are, in the middle of a restaurant, in a park, like, no, no. No matter where God has us, we should be ourselves, right? And so I sat down and I was just so overwhelmed with joy, y'all. Like I was just like, Lord, you done sent this lady. You done set us across. We could have sat anywhere. We could have went earlier. We could have went at any other time. But you, God, you love me so much and you knew I needed that, that you set me across from these Holy Spirit filled women, okay? And then not only that, y'all, like after that, I thought that was it. And so I'm crying, trying to get myself together. I'm trying to finish eating because I was just so overwhelmed, right? And then she looked at me and she said something. I, I, I'm not going to share it just yet because it's very personal to me. But when it comes to pass, y'all, I want y'all to remember this video and on, on this day that it happened. You know, on my birthday, this was prophesied to me. And I'll, you know, I'll, I'll speak about it whenever I feel led to. Um, but she looked at me, y'all, and she prophesied something to me. She said, this time next year, this will happen. And I, and when it happens, I want you to call me. And matter of fact, send me a picture of, you know, whatever she said. And y'all, I bawled. I could, I could not get myself together for the rest of the night. Like, y'all, after we came home, me and my husband, we ate, you know, got in bed, watched the show, and ate dessert, and I had to go to bed. That was the earliest I went to bed ever on my birthday because I was just so overwhelmed with joy and so overwhelmed with how God met me on my birthday in a restaurant at 7 o'clock p.m. when we went, like, I'll never forget it, y'all. So... I felt led and encouraged to share this testimony for someone who maybe you stopped praying for something. Maybe you have just been so blinded by disappointment. You're like, I don't even know. I, I'm not going to pray for that anymore because God hasn't answered that. Let this be encouragement to you to start back praying. Let this be encouragement to you to remind you that God sees you. He loves you. And he sent me here to tell my testimony to encourage you and stir up your faith and give you hope, right? It's time, y'all. God, y'all, in this season, we have to be expecting. God is going to surprise us. He is going to blow our minds, okay? This year... This year is different, y'all. And I know y'all may be hearing a lot of messages about this, but y'all better start believing it because this year is going to be different. I don't know exactly what God is going to do, but I know I'm going to walk around. I'm going to walk every day. I'm going to be expectant of God's goodness. I'm going to expect God to do something. I'm going to expect God to blow my mind, okay? And so let me look at my notes and make sure um, I said everything I wanted to do. But yeah. Uh, I wanted to just remind someone that God hears our prayers even when we're not saying them out loud or even when we haven't prayed them recently, 
because we have just been blinded by disappointment. God still knows. He knows, y'all, and he sees you. And I also wanted to say, too, that, um, hmm, I'm not going to say that again. I'm going to put that in another video. Um, yeah, so, whoo, y'all, things are shifting. Things are shifting. And so I felt led. I wanted to pray for the person who um, needs, the need. I'm going to say, need their expectancy renewed. Maybe you have been just blinded by disappointment. Maybe you have you have been just distracted about things that are going on in your life. Let's pray together. Let's renew our hope in this season, okay? So let's pray. Father God, I just thank you for your faithfulness. God, I pray for the one who feels discouraged in this season. God, I pray for the one who may feel forgotten in this season. God, I pray that this, that you will use this video to renew their hope, Father God. I pray even now that they will feel the Holy Spirit and they will know that this word of encouragement is for them. God, I thank you for your faithfulness. God, I thank you for how you surprised me. But God, I also thank you for how you're going to surprise others in this season. May this, may this be the season of suddenlies. May this be the season where our faith and our hope is renewed. God, I just thank you in advance for what you're about to do, Father God. Lord, we love you. We honor you. And we give you all the glory. Amen. Amen, y'all. Amen, amen, amen. I pray that this video blessed you. I pray that something in this video, something that I said that God used to encourage you. And if it did, let me know in the comments. And yeah, y'all, things are shifting. Things are shifting. I'm so excited about it. So um, be on the lookout because I am going to upload a short of, you know, just how my birthday with kind of things that I did. I, I had a very chill birthday, but the way the Lord showed up, y'all, and I actually, I asked my husband, did he get the moment for me, Um, you know, when the lady was prophesied, but I also know that that was a very sacred moment too, but I did, you know, record a little clip when I thought about it of me just, You'll see it in my face of how overwhelmed with joy I was with how God met me. So be on the lookout for that, y'all. So I, like I said, I pray this video encourage, even if it's just one, I'm grateful for it. So yeah, y'all, that's it for today. And I'll see y'all in the next video.